Hey everybody, Ann here, Crazy Chicken Lady. Yeah, today is going to be a beautiful day, and the following clips are some footage that I've taken over the last few days, and then some from today too. Um, so, yeah, let's just get started with this beautiful day. Thank you, Jesus. You're filling up my pond, and you're watering my plants. This is lovely. I'm so thrilled. Oh yeah, everything's getting water. And I'm getting some water in my little containers. I'm on my porch. I can't get past this uh, little wire thing though. Ah, this is gorgeous. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I just added some water. And look at all those tadpoles. There's a billion of them. There's something else in there, and it's long and skinny. It's not a snake. I don't even know if I'm capturing this. It's right underneath those bubbles. Can I see it? What is it? Oh my gosh. Here's a screen grab that I got from it. Those two little uh, brown spots up above it are not part of the bug or whatever it is. I had no idea what it was, but I was like enchanted with it. It just swam around and the guppies weren't bothering it. So I got on the internet and kind of did a search and found out that it is probably a mayfly larva. And these things will live in the pond for like a year before they morph into the adult. And this is what the adult looks like, something like that, if it's the same breed. I guess these are really old aquatic bugs and the cool thing is is that their presence indicates a clean unpolluted and highly oxygenated aquatic environment which is totally awesome because I've got wildlife the chickens love to come to this pond and drink they know it's there they kind of rely on it so I figure yeah if it's unpolluted and highly oxygenated then it's a good place for my chickens to go get a little sip of water out in the summer heat. And it's not just my chickens that love to go over to the pond and enjoy a, a little drink of water and a little bird bath. These next couple of clips really warm my heart. They are of beauty and she is getting better every single day. She has just started scratching for the first time. That is pretty thrilling. I, I just, I can't believe it. The only thing I regret is taking the splint with the wrap off after only one week. I think she would have recovered quicker if I had put it back on, wrapped her back up, and given her another week. But I think my initial thoughts were correct, that it was the knee joint, not the hip, um, that was broken. Because if it was the hip, unless she magically put it back into place herself, she wouldn't be walking on it. 
So her scratch is still a little bit clumsy, but it's it's proof that she is able to put weight on that leg because when a chicken scratch, they've got to put a weight on one foot and scratch with the other and then they switch over and scratch with the other and she's starting to do that now. So that is wonderful. Yeah, Papa. <laughs> he came in to take a nap because he's been out running around. Anyhow, i got to put the final touches on the honeysuckle syrup and uh, go plant some more stuff. Look at this. This is the finished honeysuckle syrup. And this year I did a double recipe. I had a full quart of honeysuckle flowers. I used a full quart of water. And instead of just two cups of sugar, I used four cups. And after the flowers soaked down for a while, I added the sugar. Well, I strained it, then added the sugar and let it cook down for a little while. So I have twice as much and it is a thicker syrup and it is absolutely delicious it's darker syrup and so i haven't i mean i haven't like poured it into a glass and tasted it but i've tasted a little bit with my finger absolutely delicious guess what i'm doing you guys you're never gonna guess you're never gonna guess See this two 16 count eggs what do you think i'm gonna do with them i'm taking them over to my neighbor and they're gonna hatch them out for me in the incubator and well 16 times 2 is what 32 or something <laughs> so I don't know uh, we may get half of those to hatch out and half of those might be roosters I don't care um, I'm gonna save the ro roosters and harvest them anyhow so I'm gonna go walk over there and um, drop them off Right on. She's using her dust bath. Guess what, Miss Beauty? I got you some company. <sighs> okay. I just got back from dropping off, uh, what, 32 eggs <laughs> at the neighbor's. And guess what I brought back with me? Three barred rocks. These are Rocky, yeah, Rockies. Uh, they renamed him to uh, Roman. His babies. Yeah, I think one of them's a rooster. One of them has a leg that's a little bit funky. I think it's that one right there. Um, they call them kickstand. I don't know, I'm just going to have to take them out one by one. I got the coop set up for them. And so we'll have a good look at them. That one's kickstand. <laughs> yeah, he's got a funny shaped leg. I think he's a rooster. So he gets to come into the broke leg chicken coop. <laughs> Let me get him out of here one by one. He's got a broke leg just like Beauty. So I'm going to go ahead and put each of these in here and one by one. Sorry. And uh, I'm going to leave it open so that they can go come and go as they please. I do want to introduce them to the water. Here you go, sweetheart. There's your water. Sorry. <laughs> You're not going to do it, are you? Here's your water. He's like, I don't think so. Leave me alone, lady. So I'm going to let him explore, but I'm going to let him go out, too. I'll have to chase him around at roosting time, but Beauty hasn't laid her egg yet, so we're going to get all three of them in here. And here's the other two. Oh, I'm so excited. You know what? I'm going to close this up just for a little while, just so that they can feel safe. And then, I don't know, maybe Beauty won't even lay an egg today. I'll open up it a little bit later, but I just want them to get acclimated. Oh, good. They have found their food and water. That's wonderful. I'm going to leave them in here for about an hour, and if Beauty acts like she wants to go up and lay an egg, I'll open it up for them and see what happens. Happy face! Thank you, neighbor family, for giving me new baby chickens, especially barred rocks. I've wanted more barred rocks for so long. Oh, I am just thrilled. 
So, uh, anyhow, I'm inside. I got the fan going. I'm sorry if you can't hear me very well. I'm trying to talk a little bit louder. I'm just having some of my honeysuckle drink um, in this big thing here. Um, I put a bunch of ice in it and I put three tablespoons of that honeysuckle syrup and that honeysuckle syrup is more syrupy this time because I let it cook for longer. Three tablespoons was enough. That's all I needed for this big old glass and it is absolutely delicious. Anyhow, I'm going to cool off. I'm going to wash the baby chicks and um, just enjoy the rest of my day. Anyhow, oh, I forgot to do my planting thing. I'll show you that tomorrow. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.